Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today um, I have a, a video which is basically me answering a question that I get asked all the time. So uh, I don't actually get asked many questions, but when I do, it is usually this one. Um, and that is, um, what charity shops, what thrift shops, where can I go or where can where do people go to buy, um, like obviously charity, sh charity clothes or thrifted clothes uh, in the UK? Obviously, as I'm speaking from my personal experience, I can only talk for the UK. Right, so anyway, uh, without further ado, I will get onto the uh, list of charity shops and just a little bit about them. So the first one I have on here is Cancer Research. Um, so this is kind of like quite a big charity. A lot, of, like some of these are smaller charities that you may not have in your area, but people, uh, ones like Cancer Research and Sue Rider, etc., uh, they're kind of quite nationally spread. So there's like you're more if you live in the UK, you're more likely to have one near you. Um, so yeah, Cancer Research, obviously a big charity, and they are looking to like obviously make enough money or make a lot of a lot of money to put towards obviously researching cancer um, uh, and like how to cure cancer obviously um so that means that they can tend to be a little bit pricier um and that's one thing i would say about them is they can be a bit pricier but depending on where you live you can get quite good stuff in there um it just just all depends on kind of what's in there obviously but yeah be aware it can be a bit pricey um next one is british heart foundation um this is another one that's also can be a little bit pricey but i used to buy loads and loads from uh, from british heart foundation um until i kind of stopped buying because i have obviously a rail of stuff up here i stopped buying so much stuff because their stuff was tend to be a little bit less i would make a little bit less of a margin on it um whereas if i was like buying from a different shop um so yeah british heart foundation can be good also um and that is another one that i go to but um yeah can be a little bit pricey uh, next one is uh, age concern so age concern i believe is like an uh an elderly charity it may like i may be wrong but it may be something i think it's something to do with elderly people um but yeah i don't know the background of, to, like, of all the all of the charity shops but um that is definitely one that i kind of go to quite a lot um and age concern is usually quite cheap uh so yeah if you're looking for somewhere cheap then i would definitely go there um the quality of stuff isn't always that good that's the problem with a lot of these cheap places that you usually get a quality like you will usually either go get good quality and pay a high price or you'll get a lower quality um and you'll basically find less but when you do that it will be at a lesser price uh, just like this one i found some stuff there before but not like every time i go um so next one is coats this is another elderly uh, elderly charity um and um i don't actually know i think coats um might only be a place local to me i'm not sure if it's actually um like a nationwide spread one but this kind of goes for all elderly um all elderly charities um they kind of the ones that i've been to because i have been to a few but i just can't remember all the names of them because they usually tend to be local ones um they do tend to be quite good and quite cheap um you just the stuff that you get in there um they're kind of not as strict with what they take in um so you you get like bits that aren't maybe aren't as good quality or they're maybe just a bit random but i have found a lot of good stuff in like elderly ones um and i definitely keep an eye out for them um i haven't found like like amazing items that i've made loads and loads of money on but i have definitely found um definitely found a lot of things that i've made money on in, in the past and it always tends to be quite cheap so quite a good investment um just across the board so yeah i keep an eye out for the elderly ones they tend to be quite good in my opinion or the ones i've been to anyway um so yeah keep an eye out for them uh, next one is tens valley hospice um so um the ones that i've been in i have been in quite a few um, they all tend to be very expensive or uh, relatively expensive compared to the other charity shops um so definitely uh, keep an eye out for that if you're not looking to spend a lot of money then um maybe don't go in there but the quality of stuff i have to say is good and um, the thing i found about uh, Thames valley hospice is that they tried to basically make their charity shop like a normal like store boutique um like an everyday like like um uh like just like a normal store like a house appraiser or something because they've got the brands they've got like the ralph lorenz tommy hill figure um like uh even some gucci stuff or like other things like that they have like a lot of shirts the ones that i go to um so if you're looking for high quality like items maybe for yourself or um just like i, I don't know just in general then yeah definitely have a look um 
in there but they do tend to be quite expensive because you are paying the higher price for the better quality and they don't usually take um like shit stuff in so um yeah keep an eye on tens valley hospice but as i said they do tend to be quite expensive Although one um, one thing against that is that I have been to a pound Thames Valley Hospice store and I don't know how many of them there actually is. Um, but yeah, there is definitely one that I've been to um, and that's quite good. I mean, they usually just don't have anything that would be worth buying to sell. Uh, but if you're going just maybe to just buy some like rag clothes, if you're doing like um, painting or something like that, then uh, yeah, maybe you want to go to one of them um, and yeah, just buy some clothes just for but I don't know, the sake of buying clothes. Um, next up is Salvation Army. Um, personally, I've uh, had quite a good experience in Salvation Army, although there wasn't isn't one that local to me. Um, there's one that I used to go to a little bit, but I don't really go there anymore um, because it's just quite far away. Um, but yeah, I found a Y3 jumper in the Salvation Army before, so can't complain about that at all. Um, and yeah, they, their stuff tends to be quite decent and at a decent price, so I definitely keep an eye out for Salvation Army. I know that they used to be a bit bigger, and I know in uh, America, obviously, they are like a big store, uh, but in the UK, I just personally don't see that many about. Um, next up is uh, like RSPCA and animal ones. Um, so there's lots and lots of these and a lot of them are like quite independent ones. So I tend to find these ones are quite good. I mean, the RSPCA um, is um, obviously like a big brand, so they can be a little bit more expensive, but um, the ones that like Blue Cross is an example or um, there's other ones that are like kind of independent. Um, if you watch my first ever video, um, I basically went through a haul of like Moncler, Fred Perry um, and some other stuff like All Saints stuff that I all got I got for a pound and that was all from this one independent store uh, they were basically just trying to clear everything out for as cheap as possible so definitely keep an eye out for that they may not look as good um, like presentation or on the outside they may not look as nice but definitely give them a go and don't sleep on them because you can sometimes find like hidden gems for really really good prices in there um, and make a lot of money on them um, so yeah animal ones really good uh, really good shout I would never like not go in one just because of how something looked um next is ym why yeah ymca um i'm not entirely sure what this charity does but they are basically um just like any other store although i would say the quality of stuff that they get isn't so good or the one that i've been to anyway isn't so good um and they tend to be quite expensive for the stuff that is quite good so personally i usually avoid it i just don't bother going in there because the one that i go to uh, they never rotate stock that often anyway um, but I'm only speaking for myself here, and I'm also speaking on the like behalf of the men's popu uh, men's men's like male audience because um, obviously I don't shop female clothes. I only shop for male clothes. So if you're buying for, like as a female, then uh, my opinions may be completely different for you as I don't look in that section. Um, and then finally, uh, my favourite charity shop of them all is Surida. And basically, the reason that I find this is my favourite is because the quality of stuff always used to be, always seems to be decent. They always have a lot out, um, and you know, generally, I get like I get the brands like Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, uh, Polo Sport, things like that. Um, they, they're generally in there. I even found a Babe Comedy Girl sewn T-shirt in there. It was fake, but still, it was a pretty cool find. Um, but yeah, you get the brands in there and it's definitely cheap. And that's also where I found my Supreme t-shirt. Um, if you missed that video, then it is on my channel somewhere. I found a Supreme t-shirt in a Sue Rider charity short shop. Um, but yeah, the prices are always good. They have the brands. And also, um, I actually volunteer in a Sue Rider. So I get 25% discount across the like, whole nation, which is pretty dope. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys. That is my favorite charity shop, um, if you're wondering. If you have one near you, I know there is quite a lot about, uh, then definitely check them out. Um, and like as I say to a lot of people who ask me, they're like, oh, I didn't find anything. You've got to be consistent with it. You've got to go uh, regularly um, and make sure that you keep checking out because you can't just go once and expect you to find like um, Supreme and, and like Bape and Ralph Lauren and Tom Hilfiger and Gucci and stuff like that. You've got to keep going and keep um, making like, like making the journey to actually go there and like 
check up on the new stuff because as I said you're not going to find it on your first time always um, so yeah anyway guys hope this video was uh, somewhat informative uh, if it was make sure you let me know in the comments down below also if you like this hoodie that I'm wearing this is from my own brand Vimo clothing um, and I also have a white version here that uh, these are coming out in the next couple weeks I'm um, really really happy with how these turned out the embroidery on them is so nice um, and just like the way they're just simple and you know they look really good in like in the light and stuff. So yeah, if you're interested, link me down in the description below uh, at Vimo Clothing on Instagram. If you follow me, on, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen um, me post vid, po post about it before. But yeah, if you're interested, let me know. And uh, yeah, see you next time, guys. Peace. Bye.